Hey friends, welcome back to All or None Law. Guys, today's topic of discussion is symptoms depending on the levels of potassium, that is hypokalemia. What happens and how the patient presents and what are the changes that takes place if the patient is having low potassium, low Okay, guys, so this is a kind of a medical video lecture, very simple, very important topic for USMLE examination. Guys, our lectures are not only important for what you call USMLE examinations, but also important for your what you call board, other board, other medical board examinations and for um, uh, what you call nursing students, pharmacy students. Okay, so try to concentrate on this. I'm sure this video is going to help you a lot and please thumb up the video if you like and please do share our videos with your friends so as I discussed before the normal levels of the potassium the normal values normal the normal values of the potassium potassium is really very important electrolyte for the body like sodium okay the potassium the normal value is 3.5 to 5.5 okay guys so let's talk about this potassium is 3.5 to 5.5 now hypokalemia if it's less than 3.5 we call it as a hypokalemia and if it's more than 5.5 we call it as an hyperkalemia right okay great now let's move on and talk about if the potassium level is around 3 to 3.5 what will be the symptoms Remember, this is called as a mild hypokalemia and the symptoms, most of the patients will be asymptomatic. Okay. Alright. In the previous video, we discussed what are the EKG changes if the patient is having hyperkalemia. Now, let's move on to the other low levels, 2.5 to 3. What will be the changes in this in this patient? Remember, this is called as a moderate hypokalemia. Okay, here you can expect weakness. Okay, constipation, constipation, and. I will tell you the EKG changes in this at this level but remember if the cardiac patients if the patients with a what you call low ejection fraction if the patients has a low ejection fraction then this patients can develop cardiac arrhythmias okay if there is a low what you call EF as an ejection fraction and if the levels are around 2 to 2.5 oh, sorry I, I forgot to tell you the EKG changes in these patients of 2.5 to 3 the EKG changes over here will be flattened T waves okay the flattened T waves right you can see U waves okay and the decreased ST segment okay decreased ST segment right and the wide QRS so let me repeat flattened T waves U wave decreased ST segment and wide QRS okay now let's talk about the potassium level if the potassium level is 2 to 2.5 then it is called as a severe and here the patient may have rhabdomyolysis okay parastasia hyporeflexia Hyporeflexia, 
confusion alias confusion alias alias okay and if let me talk about if it's lower than a 2 if it's a lower than 2 then it's caused a very severe and here the patient might have a paralysis paralysis impaired respirations respiration may go down okay and ultimately he can lead into the coma okay guys that's clear okay guys thank you so much for watching this video i'm sure this video is really very helpful for you thank you so much please thumb up and please do share our videos with your friends thank you take care